Welcome to Philosophy Acquired. Today, we will learn about the philosopher Soren Kierkegaard. Part 1. Existentialism and Subjectivity Kierkegaard's philosophy is often described as existentialism, a philosophical movement that places great importance on the individual's experience and choice in the face of an often indifferent or even absurd world. He is known for emphasizing the concept of existential choice, which entails making authentic, meaningful decisions in the face of uncertainty and existential anxiety. Kierkegaard's work often revolves around the concept of the individual and the subjective nature of truth and existence. He argued that truth is not an objective, universally valid concept, but is deeply rooted in an individual's lived experience. This idea laid the groundwork for the existentialist emphasis on personal responsibility and authenticity. One of Kierkegaard's most famous concepts is the leap of faith. He used this notion to explore the tension between faith and reason. Kierkegaard believed that true religious faith required a leap beyond reason and evidence, a leap into the unknown. This idea is central to his Christian existentialism, which posits that religious belief is a deeply personal and subjective matter, transcending rationality. In his work Fear and Trembling, Kierkegaard examined the story of Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son Isaac as a paradigmatic example of a faith that defies ethical norms and rationality. He contended that true faith often involves a teleological suspension of the ethical, where one's moral obligations may need to be suspended to follow a higher, divine calling. This provocative concept generated significant debate and has continued to be a focal point of Kierkegaardian scholarship. Kierkegaard's writings often feature a diverse range of pseudonymous characters, each representing different aspects of the human condition and the philosophical ideas he sought to explore. The pseudonyms, including Johannes de Silencio and Virgilius Haufinsis, allowed Kierkegaard to engage in a complex dialogue with himself, examining various viewpoints on life's fundamental questions. Kierkegaard also delved into the concept of despair, a fundamental aspect of human existence. He saw despair as a condition that arises when an individual fails to recognize their true self and relationship with God. According to Kierkegaard, overcoming despair required an honest confrontation with one's inner self and a turn towards faith. Kierkegaard's exploration of despair and faith made a profound impact on the later existentialist thinkers, such as Jean-Paul Sartre and Albert Camus, who examined the absurdity of human existence and the individual's quest for meaning in an indifferent universe. Part 2. Religious Thought and Critique of the Church Kierkegaard's religious thought is a central aspect of his philosophy. He had a complex relationship with the Danish Lutheran Church of his time. He was critical of the state church's formalism and the way it reduced Christianity to a mere cultural identity. In his work attack upon Christendom, Kierkegaard critiqued the fusion of Christianity with the state, arguing that it diluted the radical message of Christ and the individual's relationship with God. Kierkegaard's religious views were deeply rooted in his own experiences of faith and his quest for a genuine Christian existence. He emphasized the idea of becoming a true Christian, which in his view required a personal and passionate commitment to the teachings of Christ in contrast to mere adherence to religious conventions. His writings, such as works of love and practice in Christianity, explored the practical aspects of Christian faith and the need for self-examination and personal transformation. Kierkegaard's call for a more authentic and passionate Christianity resonated with those who sought a deeper, more personal engagement with their faith, influencing the development of Christian existentialism. Kierkegaard's influence extended to the realm of theology, where he challenged traditional theological doctrines and interpretations. He emphasized the significance of paradox in Christian belief, such as the paradox of the Incarnation, where the divine and human coexist in Christ. This emphasis on paradox contributed to the development of dialectical theology, which sought to embrace the tensions and contradictions inherent in religious belief. Part 3. The Impact of Kierkegaard's Thought Soren Kierkegaard's impact on philosophy, theology, and literature has been profound and enduring. His ideas laid the foundation for existentialism, a philosophical movement that profoundly influenced 20th century thought. Existentialist philosophers like John Paul Sartre and Albert Camus 
built upon Kierkegaard's concept of existential choice and the exploration of the human condition in an indifferent universe. Kierkegaard's work also had a significant influence on theology. His emphasis on personal faith, the subjective nature of truth, and the necessity of an individual's leap of faith played a pivotal role in the development of modern Christian existentialism. The theologian Paul Tillich, for instance, drew heavily from Kierkegaard's ideas, and his work had a lasting impact on Christian theology, especially in the 20th century. Existentialism, with its roots in Kierkegaard's philosophy, extended its influence to fields as diverse as literature, psychology, and even popular culture. Authors like Fyodor Dostoevsky, Franz Kafka, and Jean-Paul Sartre explored existential themes in their literary works, delving into the complexities of human existence and the search for meaning. Kierkegaard's exploration of the individual's relationship with society and the quest for authenticity resonated deeply with these authors, shaping their literary output. In psychology, existentialism influenced the development of existential psychology, which emphasized the individual's subjective experience, freedom of choice, and the search for meaning in life. Psychologists such as Viktor Frankl, Rollo May, and Ayavin Yalom incorporated existential ideas into their therapeutic approaches, highlighting the importance of personal responsibility and self-awareness in the pursuit of mental well-being. Kierkegaard's work has also left an indelible mark on popular culture. His exploration of the human condition, the quest for authenticity, and the tension between individual choice and societal expectations continue to be themes explored in literature, film, and art. Themes reminiscent of Kierkegaardian thought can be found in countless works of fiction, from novels to films, resonating with audiences and prompting reflections on the complexities of human existence. Moreover, Kierkegaard's writings have continued to be a subject of study and debate among scholars and philosophers. His pseudonymous and often paradoxical style invites multiple interpretations, making his work a rich source of philosophical inquiry. Kierkegaard's ideas continue to inspire contemporary philosophers who explore topics related to subjectivity, faith, ethics, and existential choice. It is essential to acknowledge that Kierkegaard's thought is not without its critics and detractors. Some have accused him of promoting a form of religious subjectivity that encourages irrationality and the rejection of reason. Others have argued that his work lacks a coherent systematic philosophy, which can make it challenging to understand and apply consistently. Nevertheless, these critiques do not diminish the enduring impact of Kierkegaard's ideas, which continue to spark intellectual curiosity and debates. This is the end of the episode. Listening to an episode many times may help you memorize and utilize its information more effectively.